What's up, Patio Tanks? It's been a minute. I've been uploading a lot of shorts, and uh, I haven't done videos in a in what in a in a good moment. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the shorts. I might be more inform informative on shorts compared to these um, shorts that I don't talk at all and I just upload. Might give you guys a clear reason of, or explanation, short explanation in those shorts. But how's everybody doing? Patio Tanks, we was back with another video. Uh, and today I kind of want to talk about um, why you should feed pellets instead of live food for flathorns in general, but especially confas. Um, I've also I've done quite a bit of research on whether you should go with frozen food, live food, pellets, or dried food. So, but before we get into that, let's do a quick update on how everyone's doing. I don't know if you guys have seen the shorts, but some of the shorts are old videos from like days ago, weeks ago. So let's get into it. Mark 85, same as usual. Looking fabulous. <sighs> He's always gonna stay here. I think he's reached a little over eight inch because he's way bigger than my iPhone right now. Yeah, he just keeps on growing and growing, but he's he's slowing down a little bit because I think he's almost reached at his peak. He looks really, really good. And this pair down here, man, so they're really comfortable with each other, but I don't know why she's not laying any eggs. She'll get spooked a little bit. She does look stressed, but that's her that's usually her though you know I don't know why she's not ready to lay eggs maybe she's not at the size yet but you know this is pretty big already because she's at five inch um, and I do know that Confuz females do lay a little later than ZZ females but we I'm gonna wait because she's a really pretty Confa F1 female and he's a really good looking stud so gonna wait um, and we'll see. He's ready to go. She's just not laying yet. And uh, Vision, if you guys see my new video, I just posted up on Instagram about Vision. Damn, this scope is coming in. Whew. Two weeks of having him. And fabulous. Fabulous. Uh, you better not beat up your girlfriend, man. You see? She, she, she got beat up pretty hard. And uh, she was just floating, and I put that net in there, and um, <sighs> the rest is history. She recovered. She came back. But if he's being a douche again, which he is, I'm just going to put the net back and not let him um, touch her because he's being a really, really big douche. Mark 87. This is a really beautiful classic F2 right here. Um, a prime example of what I initially wanted um, before Mark 85 came into the picture. Uh, I didn't want much pearls. I didn't want much of anything. Just structure, color, and a very dark line. And uh, this dude is exactly what I wanted when I first saw him. I'm like, damn, this is my ideal type of fish right here. And, would you look at that he's beautiful he's beautiful Thanos same as usual um one thing about Thanos is he usually his coax would his coke would shrink and then his he would grow a little bit and then once his body grows I think I've explained it in another video his body grows his coke comes back so it balances out his growth um it doesn't all grow at the same time he's kind of funny um, I don't know if that's the same with Fury as a fish, but that's how he functions, and um, that's just how he is. Uh, but he, he's a really, really amazing fish. He looks great. He's coming along super nice. And uh, I bought him at four inches. He's right under six right now. <coughs> yeah, right under six. So he's grown quite a few over the past months that I've had him. So one of the reasons why I suggest only pellet foods 
for confas is that um, pellets are one of the safest ways to for you to uh, keep your fish alive on the long term. It has all sorts of uh, probiotics, antibiotics, built in um, proteins, great proteins, great crude, great fats that is mixed in the pellets already that you don't need to worry about having to um, having to see that uh, having to measure out that you how do you say this you've had the right nutrients for your fish uh, if you want to do that it's kind of like doing counting your macros man he is getting a little too aggressive with his girlfriend right here give me a moment let me let me walk to her first before he kills her and he's a real turd man just because you got a girlfriend this is this is one of them abusive dude he's a really good looking fish but I don't want her to him to kill her she's a lot bigger than him now that I've looked at it but going back to um, going back to keeping flower horns on uh, pellets you want to keep you like they've already they're like uh pre those of you who work out a lot they're um how would you say it? what are those meals meal preps yeah there we go they're like meal preps for you already so you don't really need to worry about having to count the macros for them and getting proper nutrients because macros are i mean those pellets are proper nutrients for them already um but if you're going with um I say blood worms or you're going with um, brine shrimps and everything um, they should be treats because they're very high in protein and they're natural uh, proteins for them so you don't eat steak every single day you don't eat um, high fatty food every single day you know if you're working out you want to you want to uh, lower those high nutrients you want to stick with the constant diet and same with these flower horns. You want to stick with the constant diet. You mix the pellets around only just because you want to have different flavors in your pre, uh, in your meal preps. So this is the same kind of like flower horns. You stick with pellets, they get proper nutrients, they get the right macros. Um, they'll sustain much longer. They'll be much happier than you having to mess with their diet because let's just say you're working out you're eating really good for two weeks and then you go ahead and had a really fat steak you have you have the runs you know you and it's high in sodium too you get very dehydrated and you feel like crap the next day this is the same thing with flower horns <clears throat> you want to keep them on strict pellet diets um, do constant water change and um, exercise them make sure that they have um, a grooming tool and just make sure that they're happy because if let's say you throw in really high protein food like um, blowworms they're gonna have the runs they're not gonna be happy for a while they're gonna turn into like I don't know like this dude uh, Thanos he was really upset for a good two weeks because I fed him blowworms and it messed up his diet um, even with live fish, live uh, feeding, minnows, uh, common goldfish, those feeder goldfish, it's really, uh, it's designed as a treat and not everyday feeding um, once in a long while. But I try to stay, I would recommend for a lot of people to stay away from live feeding because it is, <clears throat> to me, it is not recommended because they do carry a lot of different parasites. They do carry, um, different variations of nutrients that um, are beneficial that and not beneficial for your fish and uh, it could harm your fish like diseases and stuff um, but then again it is all natural nutrients you got to think that these are man-made fish they are not uh, wild caught fish so they cannot eat the natural nutrients um, that is out there in the world they got to eat what is um, modified for them same with us too we we could eat a lot of natural nutri um, resources but then again 
we got to measure our macros, see what's right for us, um, so we could live a better life. Yep, so stick with pellets. Pellets are a lot safer. Um, if you guys do want to go with live food or frozen food, do it at your own risk. I am sticking with pellets. A lot of pellets that I I go with are Grand Sumo. Hikari is probably one of the safest for me. And um, I did a little bit of other uh, food too, but then Hikari and Grand Sumo, Humpy Head is probably the top three for me. Um, that is it. Stick, stick with pellets if you guys can. Same with SRDs or ZZs. Um, it would be really, really beneficial for your fish. That is it for patio tanks. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.